Would I marry an older Filipino if I was single? <laughs> Interesting question. Um, I'm more in the mindset of I'd marry the, a person that was more suitable because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where they're from. It's about having some sort of bond with them. Now, if you're just saying in the Philippines, I would say I would probably like the women of above 30 years old. Uh, personally, um, because the maturity levels there. I also find that um, women of about 40 or whatever um, are independent, aren't reliant on anybody, they're not involved in a lot of the trivial matters. And I know some of the guys have got wives that are horrible in those age groups, <laughs> but the reason is they've normally married them much younger and they've kept those traits. Um, if you met a woman in her 40s that has no association with money and Western um, lifestyles that have been given to them on a silver platter, they're often very, very different because everything they've earned has been theirs, everything they've uh, achieved has been their achievement. They're very able to look after themselves, they know what they want in life, they're, um, they have a strong direction. And also their education, they're a better rounded person. Because a lot of them have worked overseas, so you find that they've been to Taiwan, um, China, um, Middle East, wherever it is. So they have a broader knowledge of things. They've seen things outside of the box of the Philippines. Because when you live in the Philippines, if you were born and lived there all your life, the viewpoint's like this. The only outside world they sort of get is from OFWs and the, um, what do you call it, the TV, media. So you know how manipulated media is generally, so imagine if that was your only viewpoint. Um, so you have to be aware that if you meet some of these older women, they've already traveled, they've got experience, they know what they want in their life. They don't really want anybody that is going to be carrying them through lives. They want an actual real companion. Um, as such, they can be fantastic people to be with um, because they know the ways of the world. They've got the experience and knowledge of doing it. And they've been away from home, they know the hardships, they know the, the difficulties that go with the relationship. They're far more grown up than many of the women that a lot of expats come across because obviously a lot of these women don't stick themselves on dating websites. These are women you meet. These are uh, people go, oh, this is my sister. She's, she's like 42, she's never been married, blah, blah. They'll tell you their life story, like just like that, you know. Um, if, you, if you find somebody for her, you can just let me know, <laughs> you know, but the, the woman is still open for opportunities, but she's not looking for a partner. She's happy if she finds one, but she isn't going there, checking my emails, has anybody contact me or whatever. A lot of them have no interest in doing that. They're not going to chase around the internet. They don't waste their time on the internet. A lot of them have other things to do. They're school teachers, they're administrators, they're uh, running their own business, etc. As such, they're busy. They they are not sat around on the sofa all day, which is where all the younger women come from. Um, so, if I was single, I would say, yeah, the mindset is much better at that age group. It's more appropriate for myself. I'm not interested in the um, an empty head. I like people with an education. I like people with the ability to, to hold a conversation and got some general interests, etc. Um, which is why older women are interesting. <laughs> Thanks for watching.